we're gonna pop it up and take a look but i wanted to shoot an intro first so welcome to the performance youtube channel i normally don't do maintenance on stuff but rick's been a buddy of mine for a long time back in the ohio days so we're gonna maintain his wife's atlas here Gonna do a Halidex service, DSG service, brake fluid flush, and uh, maybe cut the exhaust off because I can't help myself. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll throw up on the lift and uh, take a look. So, uh, I wasn't kidding about the exhaust stuff. I actually am considering developing a cat back for the Atlas. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for muff muffler deletes. But that's just really not my style. I want it to actually sound good when it's done. So just did some measuring. It starts out with dual 55 millimeter and the downpipe. It's not really downpipe, it's not turbo. At this connection, it is 70 millimeter, which in America isn't a common size. So thanks Volkswagen for that. And then it comes back to dual 60 millimeter not tips because they fake the tips so i might explore into removing those and putting real tips on it i know jamie or uh pluck the tips out of his sema build but um i don't know about just popping them out and not having bezels or anything to hide all the ugliness up here so we'll look into that but Rick's uh, confirming we have enough fluid. The drain plug for the Halidex is here. And I want to say he said that's the fill port. Which one? Where's the fill port, Rick? Right up here. Oh, yeah. There she be. It takes about 650 milliliters plus 50 after it's warm. So we one bottle is plenty. Yep. So we're going to get to draining and uh, get going on that. Also, Rick reminded me that I misspoke. This does not have a DSG. This has the eight speed slush box conventional transmission. Kind of like my big old Suburban over here with the six speed Allison. So uh, no, this is not DSG swapped. I'm just used to talking about performance Volkswagens, not grocery getter Volkswagens. Uh, but you know, this could be both. We've been talking about throwing a turbo or a supercharger on it because everybody likes having a little more hitching their giddy up. It's rare that I get to play a film through. Ooh. Look at that, in the pan. First try. <laughs> yeah. That's some pretty clean looking fluid, but the filter will be the tell. Yeah, I remember I just changed this 10,000 miles ago, but I wasn't 100% positive on my quantities because the truck wasn't level. Oh. So, well, to be fair, my lift probably isn't 100% level. I was expecting it to be <laughs> better than jack clean. stands. Yeah, better than jack stands, exactly. By the way, for all you guys watching this, <laughs> debating on uh, DIY in this, you don't need a lift. The lift is just way more convenient and comfortable, but you'll, uh, you'll get your crunches in if you do this on the floor. Ripped, ripped abs, like Rick and I here. Jacked and tan. Jacked and tan. That's what my wife's got me saving her phone as, actually. I wish I was kidding. <laughs> and just because people like to know things ahead of time, got an eight millimeter for the drain and a five millimeter for the fill. Rick's got a 10 millimeter on the serviceable filter off. Come on now. Why is she, why is she that? Oh, there's a pigtail, that's why. Yeah, don't rip the oh, fuck me. grounding strap off. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. It comes all the way up yonder. And it's tucked away in back there. Shit. <laughs> so that's got a probably a T30 holding it, it looks like. We'll confirm. Okay, so a simple solution for extra slap is just to unplug, slack is to unplug this uh, 
plastic retainer clip that routes the wiring. He's got some fuzz on that uh, filter, so we're going to clean that off. Where did you get a new filter? No, no new filter. Yeah. It's just a serviceable screen, so you just wipe that puppy off. Pop it back in, fill her up. Did you get new O-rings? Yeah. All right, yeah, so we'll replace these two O-rings, as you should, so you don't dribble on your driveway. I will say the FCP um, Howdex kit came with all of it. came with the fluid, two new bolts for here, two new O-rings, as well as the drain and fill plug. So shout out to FPC. FCP. FCP. Yeah. FCP. I'm not wearing their shirt today. I'm wearing Verocious, so I can't remember their acronym. So while Rick's messing with main, main goal maintenance here, I'm still thinking about having up an exhaust for this thing. So I do have a two and three quarter, three inch reducer. I think this stuff's gotta go. I do have to go to work today. I have to go to my real job, maintain aircraft. That's why I'm really not uh, seeking out maintenance work. That's why Rick's doing all the dirty work here. I'm just playing film crew. You can get a clean video now. That is clean. I'm also cleaning out the housing. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Got some chunks in there. There's where the good stuff is. Save that for later. A little bit of clutch material, a little bit of bearing material. 40,000 miles. So, did you clean the filter last time? No, I did not. It was just, just a fluid. Just drained and replenished? Yep. So, that's 40,000 miles worth of gunk on there. 42,000, actually, to be exact. One more shot at the drain in the fill. Um, for those of you who might be like us and have multiple Volkswagen vehicles, the Golf R and more fun-oriented Halidex, I believe has two separate drain and fill ports. Don't quote me on that because I haven't serviced one yet, but that's word on the street. And I've also heard of Volkswagen Techs and uh, individuals draining one side and filling the other. So they've got no fluid in one side of the Halidex unit and double fluid in the other. So don't be that guy. There you go. We'll get a little bit of fluid on that lubrication. actually that looks awful like a fill port and that looks awful like a drain port so we're gonna follow up on that and make sure that Rick's not about to be that guy also pro tip since Volkswagen decided to put this in the way of the only screw up front on your uh, belly pan since he plans on keeping this car a long time and servicing it off and we put a hole there so you can use power tools to get that off without interruption I missed the the shot of him actually doing it for any of you that's laid under your car and finagled that we'll appreciate that little tidbit and then up front of course all these are T25 and then the Three pesky T35s. Rick opting not to use power tools for these three. <laughs> so we were right. There is a separate differential fluid service. So Halidex fluid is the forward ports. It's still empty up front. This is the fill for the Halidex, which is its own special fluid. And then this is just conventional, well, it, not conventional, it's synthetic 7590 gear oil, which I just so happen to have some Motul Gear 300 handy from lots and lots of previous GTI transmission services. So this is the one, uh, you can bring this up some to make sure you don't miss. Loosen this wing nut, bring it up. There you go. Don't want to have a fluid disaster. 
I'd, I'd make a great supervisor. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's cold too. So there is the gear oil drain and the fill port up yonder. So don't be like the VW senior master techs that drain one or the other and fill one or the other and don't do both. Got my senior master tech certs. Certificated, Rick. Yep. Certificated. Home ground certificated. We're not qualified like that. He's an engineer and I'm an aircraft mechanic, so absolutely no business doing Volkswagen services. None. And cab cabinetry. Viva Brothers. Oh. They make nice stuff. Nice they stuff. Do. Very nice custom cabinets. If you're in Youngstown, Ohio, check them out. The three people from Youngstown that ever see this video. All right, so we've got Rick's Swiss made penis pump. Just like Austin Powers. Putting 750 ml into the Halidex, not to be confused with the differential. So Rick says, according to Emmanuel, you gotta let her warm up a little bit and top off the fluid to make sure you get her just right. That's only because we took the pump off to clean the serviceable filter because there was extra fluid in there that drained out. Yeah. So, we're so right now the need, need to run the pump to circulate through the filter cavity. Don't force her, Rick. I think we're, we're gonna, I think think, we're gonna have to get an air bleed in there somehow. You think it's hydrolocked? Yeah. It's not letting me get anything in there. Without blowing my shoulder out. Yeah, look, it's just popping an air pocket back up. This is gonna blow the line off and shoot fluid everywhere eventually. <laughs> Huh. All right, so we'll use the uh, alternative okay, method. Let's do this. Get some air pockets in there, pull a little vacuum. Oh, oh, man, there we go. Now you're thinking we got engineering involved. Push them a little bit to prime. Pull back, pull a vacuum, get the air pockets. Go back for take three. I really want to get the whatever sticker was on Austin Powers' penis pump. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my wife's got a cry cut, so we're gonna deck this puppy out for future videos. That's not mine, baby. That's not my bag. <laughs> what about this book? Yeah, it says written and illustrated by Austin J. Powers. <laughs> also, on the subject of the penis pump, that is an option from FCP with their kit. Uh, but this, the fluid back, so we must be full now. But this adapter is from Amazon and is nice to have. We are not making any mess yet. Knock on wood. <laughs> Knock on stock exhaust. So I'll uh I'll get the info from Rick and put those links in the bio for you. In the descriptiones, you just want to be careful because this has quite a bit of leverage on those aluminum threads, so uh, make sure you install this tool before you put the line on and don't be yanking this thing around and snap it off in the diff and Have to break the news to your wife that you messed her car up a bad time. Oh, yeah, she'll be pissed or your car. There's no shame in driving an Atlas I was actually baiting between Atlas and this here Suburban but this cost half as much and this is where it hangs out most of the time just chilling in the shop. So right. Can't always be Volkswagen Also, this is just some uh, clear tubing from Lowe's. It is 5 16 inside diameter, which is the only thing that matters. It could be six inch outside diameter. It wouldn't have any effect on what you're doing with it. I'm push it real good, filling the 7590 gear oil into the diff, not to be confused. Halidex. I'm going to say that 30 times just so nobody screws that up. Beautiful pumping action from the Swedish made penis pump.
All right, draining some more lifetime fluid out of the bevel box. This will also be getting 75.90, right? Yep. Nice golden brown hue to it. A little bit of liquid mully. I'm looking for mully, mully, mully. All right, so while we're draining here, I'll sneak the camera up there and show you the very conveniently placed fill port. That'll be just aft of the axle, that nine o'clock position. Once we're done dribbling out of here, we'll throw our new drain plug in and grab the Swedish made pump again. Filler back up. How many milliliters? Uh, I think it's 850. We think it's 850. I can't remember what the exact fill quantity is, but it's less than a liter. Yeah, it's fill to spill. When it's full, it'll tell you. So again, this tool off of Amazon, definitely making life easier. Although the Swedish made pump, if any of their engineers are watching, it could use a purge valve for letting air out. Just uh, on V2, let's, let's put a air relief valve somewhere in there. Well, it does have some rubber grip for her pleasure. It does. Get your fingers entwined on that grip. Really bear down on it. All right, so we're circulating some fluid. We can double check the rear halidex. Fun note, car won't start with the hood open. From so, the key fob, from the key fob at least. They want you to remote start your car with the hood up for whatever reason. Maybe it's got self-driving technology that we don't know about. Yeah, it'll summon yourself. It'll yeah, summon you, don't, you don't want to summons it with the hood up. It's really confuse people. So yeah, we'll uh, wrap that up and then we're gonna drain the not DSG automatic transmission. Then drop the pan to swap the filter off the red heater. So we've got fluid seal for the pan and there's a filter around here somewhere fancy and we're definitely going to make a mess dropping the pan because that's what happens when you drop pans no doubt about it all right so now we ran the car cycled the fluid with the pump we're uh filled up and once this slows down and dripping a little bit plug back in we'll be completely done with the halidex bevel box and differential services i meant to say not vertical so jake turned into mr mechanic now well, well, engineering took over a supervisor We just gonna do laps and take four and not too bad looking kind of kind of dark but not alarming about 42,000 miles on it first service to the transmission which isn't a DSG, by the way. <laughs> All right, so this is the kind of mess you can expect. Three 10 millimeters, pop that puppy right on out of there. Try not to drink it. Rick says it doesn't taste good. Not at all. I can't imagine why. All right, so FCP did not include this O-ring, so we trans 
transferred that from the old filter to the new one to see you guys have advance notice to find that part number and get that for when you do this and make a huge mess so three bolts 10 millimeter slap that back on and we'll put the pan on with the new gasket also make sure you wipe out your pan got a nice film of metal shavings collected in it some magnets for collecting all the fuzz all right so we've got the stand pipe back in the filler tool in be able to use the fancy pump um, didn't have accurate information on the torque specs for these so hopefully somebody with access to the factory Volkswagen manuals will be able to chime in and I can add that in the description but uh, just a quick search we found uh, another eight speed right up said seven foot pounds seven foot pounds felt good uh, which is 84 inch pounds so we've got an inch pound torque wrench you want to use a torque wrench where you're falling well within the range you don't want to be using something that goes down to 10 at 12 because it's not very accurate there and also if you're using a big torque wrench on little bolts it's easy to pass your torque and damage things so be careful with that um, another write-up he saw said 12 foot pounds which is ridiculous it was completely crushing this gasket so don't do that uh, there are little uh, spacers in there but you can only do so much to save you from yourself so we're gonna load up our fluid pump it in easing her on in there so the standpipe inside will set the level um, so you want to put that in and once it's filled to uh, the max capacity then you go ahead and run the vehicle select each gear for at least 10 seconds that way the valve body can circulate the fluid I would go more like 20 or 30 seconds per gear just to make sure you're getting good circulation and then pull the plug back out and the standpipe will retain the exact amount of fluid based on the temperature because the volume changes with temperature what was the spec we're looking for on that temp wise i'd have to double check um, i want to say like 25 to 35 c but i'll verify all right yeah i'll, I'll just write that across the screen once we have that. 113. What did it say? 109. 109.4. Oh wow, that's right in range. 95 to 113. AKA 35 degrees Celsius. So we're good then. Yeah. All right, just got to double check the torque on the uh, the old drain plug down there and put the belly pan on. She's right as rain. It's like the rain we got. Oh, yeah. And just in time because I got to leave for work. <laughs> All right, so there she is. Leak free, 12 foot pounds, 144 inch pounds. Like I said, we went to seven foot pounds. 84 inch pounds and did a nice star pattern no leaks looks good lasts a long time click subscribe comment bitch about it whatever makes you happy thanks for watching say bye rick see you guys